<laughs> What's up, YouTube land? So this is kind of weird. Uh, I took the disc out the last time we played because this is Trev's PS5 and I brought it up to my PS5. We put the disc back in and it literally remembered the exact spot. Yeah. That's really bizarre. So It's so weird. If you remember the exact spot, we just finished the, uh, the boss. I guess at this point... Um... Like, the SSD in the PS5 is so much faster than the disc reader that it's probably, it probably does not check the disc at all when you're playing games on PS5. And the disc is more of like a, do you still own this so you can play this sort of deal? Yeah, if I had to guess that would probably be So that's probably what happened, but it's still like, it's amazing to think about. I think that that is probably the best the best thing about the new generation. Oh, yeah. Like, the PS5 is very similar to the PS4 in a lot of ways, but the, um... Just the data transfer speeds are exponentially faster. Yeah. It is so much nicer. Yeah. Yeah, the, I mean, like, the graphics are better. Yeah. I, I actually like the PS5 controller more than the PS4 controller, I personally. Do. But, um... um and, and there's, like, minor stuff like that, but holy crap. It really just feels like a more refined PS4 because games run better, um... I, they load faster, the, the controller is just a little bit smoother, it just feels like a refined system, more than like a super next-gen push, but at this point we're never going to see a, a true next-gen push again. No. It's 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 at the point where it's like, uh, you, you upgrade your PC. Slowly. I mean, people would argue that PS3 to PS4 wasn't a huge upgrade, but PS4 to PS5 is even less. Yeah. It's more about quality of life. Uh, I think the PS5 to the PS4, like, quality of life stuff is pretty game-changing in some ways. I definitely agree. I mean, like I said, the, 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 um, what's called alone is ridiculous. The, uh, the, uh, external. Okay, so this, we have to use this white card. If you look right here, it says, use the password corresponding to the day of the month. If we look on here, I'll turn off this. Yeah. It, uh, says, it's really small on the TV, but it says 919. It's European, so it says 199. And uh, 19 is 1102. So let's Yeah, this. month, day, year, uh, miles per hour, gallons, uh, I, feet. At this point, I just want to do it just to uh, to annoy Europeans now. Like, I, I, I think the metric system's fine, but at this point, screw it. Feet, miles, don't care. It's the most American thing I've ever heard. Yep, <laughs> right? Just to annoy. Roberto. I have to run. If you made it here, the key to the administration room is in the reception area, first floor. You have to get that key, Stephanie. There's no way. Did All right. Really so I'm going to show uh, something real quick, you know Trev. Uh, Fuck this. <laughs> literally. Whoa. Way to escape Ethan, the reception area. calm down. I'm going to show you one of the one of the tougher to just normally find uh, secrets in this game, and that's if you what? just start walking up here. What are you doing up here, huh? Trying to break the game? Oh. And then you get bug awareness. That's kind of cool. Uh, if I remember correctly, it used to be called This Is Not A Bug. Because obviously it's not on purpose. You know, yeah. it's put in there on purpose. But uh, that would be an extremely tough one to find, in my opinion. All right, so let's over here. We're going to uh, use this handle we just got to open this to get a freaking key to go to the freaking first floor. This game is all about find this random thing to find a key to find Oh no, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. This is a key to go back to the seventh floor where we just were, or the ninth floor where we just were, to get a key to go to the yeah. first floor. But you find a key to find a thing to find a key to find a thing to find a key to find a thing. Yep. That's this entire game. Yep. And you know what? Not the worst thing, but yeah. still. Master Christopher was right. As always, the cleansing process he foresaw has now begun. Davy's time as leader of the Sacred Trail is now over, and his son will stay to protect the girl in our absence. My only hope is that those who follow in our footsteps continue our work well. It is time now for my trail to end. I am not afraid, for I know the promise of resurrection and everlasting life will be fulfilled. This is the great promise of the Master, and the Master does not fail. To the principle of free will, Anascleto. Anascleto. All right. So there is a uh, safe here. I have no idea where to get this code and i apologize but it's one six four nine i i don't usually it's like somewhere nearby where it's like hey it's here it is no it's just bullets it's yeah. just bullets but i have no idea yeah, it's that's... uh you think it would be like on the computer screen <laughs> three machine gun bullets are you kidding me that's three 
But yeah, you would think it would be like somewhere around here. I have no idea. This c computer is literally blue screen of death, which is kind of look cool. at the computer with your camera. It's it's the same thing. It's just blue screen. Yeah. So I have no idea, but it's one six four nine. You don't need it. Uh, the reason we open this is uh, now we can easily just get back and forth. This door was locked earlier. So, actually, we're going to just walk straight back up here and go to, literally, we were just here, uh, to the other mezzanine. And I think enemies are back because, of course, they are. Yeah, there's one right here. We want to try to kill every enemy we can because, at this point, bullets are uh, easier to get than, uh, than health, at least at this point. Alright, so we have the metal key, which we're going to use to unlock this. Is this game significantly longer? Hmm? Is this game, like... We're probably about halfway through okay. at this point. Yeah, it's, I would say decent. I'm not saying long. that this game's, like, really long or anything. <clears throat> Alright, so this one, it looks really intimidating. All you have to do is just match um, the upper left with the thing in the middle. And all you really have to do is just find um, one piece from one, and it'll work out. So, for instance, this one both have the plus signs... So at this point, all you have to do is just move this over to, to match that. Do you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Move that over. Uh, the first time I did it, I was really intimidated, but I was like, just find one thing that matches and the rest will make sense. Um, so we get this and we get the reception key, which is actually where we started, if you remember. It's been a couple weeks at this point, but um, right at the very beginning where we met that bellhop. Uh, so it all comes it all comes back to yeah, the, the PS2 graphic guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as we said, this, for being an indie game, this game, like, even, uh, I was always impressed with, um, like, how, like, is this, like, blood or whatever it is. I think for an indie game, it looks great. Yeah, the environments are great. Like, the environments are awesome. And we're playing in, like, not optimal, um, like, conditions. Like, we have the gamma really up. Yeah. Just so, like, YouTube compression doesn't, like, yeah. absolutely BTFO this game. But, uh, yeah, this game looks nice. It really does. Except for the, uh, except for the, uh, humans. They do not look uh, very good. Okay, so we're gonna hopefully there's not a million enemies down at the first floor, but you know there will be. And we have to very first head into the infested area. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to show all of the upgrades if at all possible. Uh, <laughs> we have 20 out of 50 so far. If that gives you any sense of how how far we are in the game, I will say. There's a point where we're going to get, like, five or six in really rapid succession. Uh, but, uh, give you a rough idea of where we're in the game. Alright, that's an enemy. That's no good. Alright, so we are going to... I think this is a new one. Alright, yeah, so this is kind of cool. So this door wasn't open before when we fought, uh, the, uh, the boss. This is kind of a cool puzzle. So... Oh, sh what the? What was that? <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Oh, is the did the guy get up? Yeah, yeah right. it's probably that guy through the, the wall. Good <laughs> I got so spooked again. Oh because... come on! Oh Whoa! come on! You. Suck. I thought about doing the pistol, but I only have three pistol bullets. So, well, whatever. Okay, that was pretty scary. All right. So, uh, this is kind of cool. So what you have to do is you have to get, yeah, sorry for the jump scare, uh, you I think it. the guy tried to lunge at you through the Through wall. the, and, and we heard it. So you just want to get the writing on the bottom of each of them. You see how it's, uh, on the bottom there, and you're like, okay, did I do it? Nope, because you gotta do this, too. It's really hard to see. Okay, there we go. Ooh, that's a five. Ooh. Nice. Where is this? Such a weird detail to put made in Brazil on this scene. And then we get a coin that'll help us later. It tells us uh look like a it, it's a safe it's a safe thing, thing yeah. Alright, so we are going to now go down the stairs. Uh, oh yeah, there is a million <laughs> There's a million enemies down here. I'm actually just gonna run past and them. You have four bullets. Whoa! There's a guy right there. Yep, saw it. I don't care if I get it once or whatever. I do not have the bullets to do this. And uh, for reasons, they won't be here anymore, so. <laughs> Okay. I don't think you can get hurt while this is happening. And then when he goes through here, he close for once, he closes the door. Wow. 
I think because the game realizes, like, hey, that's super not fair. Okay. So, not bad. We only get hit one time on the first floor. Not, not really a big deal. All right. So, we're just going to scour around for... Oh, the book. Two pistol bullets. Dude, my rolls on this are just unbelievable. I, I just, I know that it's random in some way. You pick normal, right? I pick normal. One shot. It shows two shells! And I get one. Like, get out of here. Oh, yeah, I found the memory, so that's good. Alright, da, 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 da. Alright, let's just check how we are. This I can actually just put away, because I know what it is. Uh. And I have. Oh, revolver bullets. Well, I don't need that right now, but that's helpful for later. Is that basically a magnum? Yeah, yeah. And that is uh, the only thing that makes this game beatable later. What a surprise. Let's read this. Oh, the guest list. I'm not going to read this whole thing. It's just a bunch of names. It doesn't really mean anything at all. <laughs> Alright, so we're at a dead end. So what do you do when there's a dead end? You pull out your handy-dandy camera gonna really quickly check around here to make sure there's no random bullets sitting around. No, always hard to tell. Yoink. Absolutely yoink. And uh, we have Omega YN. Alright. Omega YN. Speedrun! Oh, not speed More run. keys! I know, so many keys. So we got this electronic circuit, and we got the metal key. Ah, here we go. Phone ringing again. I wonder if it's our girlfriend. Oh, there's a what bandage the there. What the F, Stephanie? I'm Ethan. Literally. Hello, Roberto? That's it, Stephanie. I'm done listening to you. Finished. Got that? Kaput! I can't explain. No, no, you, you literally had like you four chances. The piano monster was there, <laughs> and you didn't tell me anything. Roberto, I was trying to. What? Trying to what, Stephanie? Based. Because right now, all it seems like you're trying to do is get me killed. Okay. It sounds like a married couple that have been married for twenty years too long. Listen to me for a second. Well, she doesn't say anything. I waited by the statue as long as I could, but as soon as I heard the piano start to play, I had to run. I thought it would have been long. That doesn't make any sense because they're on different levels. They're literally. The ninth and the eighth floor. To you right now, but I need you to understand one thing. If we want to get out of here alive, we need to work together. Okay, how? You know, working with you and getting out of here alive <laughs> don't really seem like they go together. Yeah, they're not all that working well. together. Roberto, you don't have a choice. There's no way out from the main levels anymore. The other survivors closed off every single entrance and exit throughout the hotel. All of them. Oh no. Jesus Christ. Is this some kind of sick joke? How can I trust yeah. a word you say after everything you put me through? Hey, if you want to risk your life searching around the hotel for an escape route that doesn't actually exist, be my guest. <laughs> Didn't think so. <laughs> now listen up. There's a large laboratory underneath the hotel, and there's only one way to get down to it. Below the statue on the eighth floor, there's a passage that will lead you to an elevator. To access this passage... Like, she gives you relevant information, office, but... She doesn't do to anything. Inside it, you'll find more information. This is really important. The girl needs to... Shit. <laughs> Let me grab that. Thanks. Alright. For no particular reason, we're gonna pull out our shotgun. Our buddy's here! Hey, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Alright. Here? Oh yeah, I was trying to remember what his theme was, but instantly when I heard it, I was like, oh yeah. I don't care if it died or not. Oh, come on. Get out. There's a no one behind you, so right, I think. Just leave me alone. So we need to go up the stairs. circle, I think. Oh, shoot! Uh, I'm probably dead. Yeah, I'm literally... Oh, my God. I'm sorry, guys. 
I quite literally got stuck, and I did not save anything we just did. Cool. Uh, do you want to just want to pause it real quick, and we'll get back to where I was? Sorry, guys. Uh, this game is uh, annoying to me sometimes. But all right, I'm gonna get started again, and then we'll pick up right where uh, right where we left off. And there's an enemy there that was not there. Enough. All right, guys, we'll see you in just, uh, just literally a second. Bye! Tell All right, we're doing what we should have done the first time and not even talk to Stephanie. Because I think we can just... No, wait, do you have to literally talk to her? Since this is uh, peak RE7 clone, you have to. I thought you can skip it. Are you serious? Whatever. Let me skip Reno. Sorry, I really me. thought you could. Maybe it's only on the second playthrough. I like listening to Ethan C, so this is no, cool. No, you screwed me. You no. knew that fucking piano monster was there, and you didn't tell me anything. Well, when I heard the piano... Roberto, I was trying to... What? Trying to what, Stephanie? Because right now, all it seems like you're trying to do is get me killed. Okay, look... Just, I just, just listen, second, just listen. But please just listen to me for a second. I'm sorry, all right? I waited by the statue. And I, I learned what my mistake, my mistake was last time. I should have went up the stairs and immediately went to the right. I went around. Um, I keep forgetting which part is blocked off at which part in the game. Because you do have the option of coming down here again. And it's more blocked off because of the tyrant stuff. But I kind of forgot that. So, rip! LP! Ruined! It's all over. I think that's like the third time I died on screen. Which is not uncommon for this game. Yeah, this game seems really hard. Well, that last part, and it's, I'm they not... They just don't give you anything. They yeah, give they you really no healing, don't. they give you no ammo. Jesus Christ. There's no this melee is weapon. A joke? Yeah. How even I having... I, 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 I never even thought about it until Trev brought it up last time, but I was like, man. It is really troublesome that they don't even give you, like, a friggin' board with a nail on yeah, it. Yeah, imagine like being able to finish off like the guys when they drop to the ground and you shoot them with a shotgun. It would save you so much ammo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even something that has awful combat, like Silent Hill, has something. Or you can at least like kick them. You know what I mean? Like, stomp them out or whatever. But whatever. It's how the game was made and they, they did it on purpose, obviously. Alright. This time we go around, big boy, and then we're just going straight to the right. Hello! Yeah, I got stuck on an enemy last time, and then the tyrant was right there, and it was real. And it was base. Super base. Yeah. At least this guy doesn't run or aggro or anything. Hi. Wait, that was... Wait, what? Now I actually am confused. Uh, big boy's coming up to your right. I know, I know. Actually, huh. I actually have no idea what you're looking for, so... Yeah, 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 I'm just trying to find the friggin' stairs. I think that's where I was last time. This is the exact same route you chose last time. Yes. I... No, I know, because... This is exactly the same thing. Hello? Hello? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Wait, no. Here we not go. Where? What? Why is this giving me such a hard time? Is it on the opposite end? I'm gonna wait for him to come down. So you were looking over there, like where you're pointing right now. Is it on the opposite end it's, of the hallway? It should be right over there. Hold on, I'm gonna let him come down. I just need to get to the stairs. Da, 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 da. Hey, bud. At least you walk. Yeah, he is just so casual. I guess he just knows he's unbeatable. So I can't go there. Yeah, that's... Oh, God! Where did that guy come from? Alright, so... No, I want to go this way. That's, that's what I want. I know he's right there. Cat, that's the mistake I made. No, I don't have enough bullets. Leave me alone, because there's one going to come up here. 
Yeah, 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 this is it, this is it. Sorry, folks. I'm sure there's one more here to annoy me. I cannot use the elevator because the elevator is broken down here. So I have to go up here. Oh, yeah, it looks identical to what you're looking at. Yeah. Whoopsie doopsie. Dude. That means that never done it. All my dang bullets again. But here's the good news. We survived. So I think, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're going to use this. And I think once we start walking up here, the, uh, yep, the music stops. Okay. Here's the good news. At this point is the point where we start getting a bunch of extra items. So that certainly makes things a lot easier for us. Now, if you remember, we just picked up uh, the circuit, which we're going to use right here. Puzzle. What was the key I picked up? Oh, the eighth floor. Got it. All right. So let's just uh, follow this. That's not right. Yeah, so that means it would be... No, that's not right either. Yeah, no. There we go. There we go. Okay. So you just have to find the first one and go from there. All right, so there. There. Yeah, it really is just finding, like, two or three pieces that fit together. Yep, legitimately. So that's good. That is good. That one's not good. Look at this. Oh yeah, I can see it. It's like one Very pixel. Very slightly. And that's also off a little bit. Okay. That. That. Oh, that was right. That. That is correct, it looks like. This, and then this should do it. The oh, top. top. This one. Yeah. That should do it. Alright. Good. Now we have the elevator completely uh, fully working. I'm always like, when I'm waiting for the elevator, I'm always like, when's something gonna happen? That's a really good, if you think about it, that concept for that puzzle is really weird, because uh, motherboards are not made of perfectly square, like, rotatable things. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it was uh, trying to get a little bit of Bioshock going in there. Uh, but yeah. So we want to grab some stiff. So for right now, we're going to put away the machine gun. We can put this away. Put those away. Let's grab pliers. And we'll come back for the other thing. Yeah. And I just healed. Did I just heal? You healed, but you're like at half health. Yeah. Because of course. Oh, yeah. Let me, uh, let me save a Reno. Create an extra spot just to save uh, the hard drive. Uh, Alright, so let's go to the fifth floor. Now we get to use these fun pliers and get a bunch of uh, upgrades and other such things. Hopefully some uh, ammo too. Kind of nice. That'd be nice. Yeah, right? Or just anything. So every time we come out, we're just going to make sure. Okay. Alright, so... Pass through here. Oh, check this out. I don't know what that was. Don't open dead inside. <laughs> eh? Ooh. What movie is that from? I forget. Uh, Walking Dead. It's the very, it's the very beginning of uh, Walking okay. Dead, of the actual Kino episode. There's just so many zombie properties that oh, it's just gets mixed up. Ridiculous. Okay, so we're in. Now we're just gonna look around. Oh, everything looks. That looks good. Nice. Looks good. All right, so we got the upgrade. Ointment or small. Oh, yeah, that's super helpful. This we actually have to come back for later, but I wanted to get some items uh, here ahead of time. And uh, there is... Oh, I don't know where you find... Uh, I guess it's probably somewhere in here. Oh, four. Uh, it's somewhere. Some of it on it's the fine. Well, whatever. It's 483. <laughs> that I, I, a lot of times, it's just you have to look around a lot. So, 483. Hopefully, this gives us something decent. <laughs> what if it's nothing? Alright, that's actually extremely helpful. Yeah. 
I think the only thing that would be more helpful would be some sort of uh, actual uh, uh, healing thing would be pretty pretty cool. All right, so that's it on the fifth floor for now. And we don't need to go save or anything. So let's head to the sixth floor. Check how we're doing on these. 17, okay. So definitely gonna increase the shotgun when I, when I have enough. Uh, the power is the only thing that matters, and probably the rest I'll save for the revolver. Alright. Whoa! Whoa! Little girl! Kind of spook me like yeah. Millicent. Yeah, it's not bad, huh? There's another one that, that, that gets you pretty bad later. Alright, so we are going to use it here. Arsic. Are you telling me that this guy can't just ram his body against a single chain? Ooh, ooh, oh, nice. yeah. It'd be so easy to just body blow your way into this room. Oh, oh my god. So we found that memory, that's memory number nine. Oh my god, this is awesome. This is so awesome. I think if we do... No, we can't do that. So we have... We do that. Yes, yeah. and then and we that do and that. that. Yeah. Oh, 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 and okay. they they stack. That's yeah, that's nice. actually pretty nice. All right, let's just make sure we don't we're not missing any other items in here. Uh, so we got. Man, if healing items stacked in classic Resident Evil would make the games ten times easier. Do not use the green herb; it's toxic. <laughs> yeah, references. He's kind of cute. Uh, if you use that, you yes. get actual two shotgun shells. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you believe it? Alright. Oh, and uh, also in here, you'll see that it says 251. Uh, so this is this is a whole thing. Uh, where is... It's probably... Oh, here we go. So we do 251. And you get another key, because of course you do. Oh my god. This game's unlimited keys. Uh, and this key is the locker key that you use <laughs> literally immediately. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. okay. Yep, so totally we're doing it. it. Yeah, super worth it. I can't imagine not doing this stuff. You know what I mean? Like, it's just so, uh, like, I can't imagine beating this game without without these uh, these helpful parts. All right, so we did that. All right. Okay, we're going to go down the stairs real quick. Uh, I guess put on shotgun just in case. Cool. So this is the cabinet room again. All right. And I believe it is here. Yeah. Where we use the pliers again. Right. And I think that's spooky lighting. I think that's it for the pliers. Yep, so that's all the pliers. Good, that frees up two slots. Uh, we're gonna continue in here. And we get another one. I feel like that one should be a five. Uh, considering Wow, is that it? You really have to go out of your way. Yoink! Oh let's go! Yoink! Okay. Things are things are looking a lot better now, lads. That room's a lot better then. Yeah, it's like automatically just having that is like okay, cool, great. Yeah, because that's a full heal. So okay, cool. Yeah, this game gives you absolutely nothing. That having the bandages and the uh, small alcohol and the what was the third one like uh, rolled gauze. Yeah. It's or no, like, no, no. no. Uh, yeah, you need the gauze and the adhesive. Plaster yeah, and the to make the bandages. Calls. Yeah, pretty brutal. All right, so we're gonna head back to the third floor because that went so well. We're going to uh, grab something and then drop a couple things off. I'm gonna drop these three glorious machine gun bullets in. Uh, I can't wait to kill uh, nothing with them. Yeah, one of the little bugs. Yeah. Because you're, you're going to miss, you know, at least once. All right, so store. Let's go ahead and store those for now. That's super helpful. I have a bandage and three of those. It's awesome. I'm going to grab the metal rod. This is one of my favorite side quest parts uh, here. All right, so we're going to head back and go once again to the sixth floor. 
I just kind of broke this up so I didn't have to bring both the uh, two space metal rod and two space uh, pliers along. It's like, this two spaces, I get it. This two spaces, bruh. Come on. Come on now. Bruh. Alright, so. We're gonna go straight ahead here. I, I always forget what time it, it uh, one of the things BTS. This game has just so much stuff everywhere. Right? You, it's you just. Go, you go down one hall and there's three more things to do. So, this is what you use the metal rod for. And you get a lot of stuff. Is that a five? Oh, heck yeah. yeah. Bruh. So, this is, this is pretty, this is pretty cool. This is literally the area where you leave the hotel, right here. Wow. So if this thing was just open, you would be able to leave, but you cannot. Okay, 